Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Ozana David. I have a strong message I want to deliver from the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that you help me to deliver this message the same way you gave it to me and cause the hearts of your children to be receptive to your word. As many that you have elected even before the foundation of the world, help them to retrace their steps. And those who are already on the path of righteousness, help them to continue in your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to read from the Bible before I deliver the message. Matthew chapter 23. I will read a few verses and also read a few verses from chapter 24. Matthew 23, 13. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you compass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, he made him twofold, more the child of hell than yourselves. Matthew 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was called. Verse 23 and 24. Verses 23 and 24. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, inasmuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Last week, Friday, I was in church. As I was ministering, I had a revelation from the Lord. And it is about the end time and the deception that is going on in the world right now. In this revelation, I saw demonic invasion, demons invading the earth. And the most painful aspect of it is that they came in two forms. One, they, in, they entered into the bodies of men, humans, who became possessed with demons. I am not saying these are the only two forms, but I am telling you what the Lord revealed to me. And these demons were in the world. These human beings who became possessed were in the world doing different kind of, uh, engaging themselves in different kind of assignments for the devil. And then there was this second set form of invasion, demons themselves who materialize into human forms and they were in the world. Remember, these principalities are fallen angels from heaven. Genesis, uh, chapter 6, you read chapter 6, you see where the sons of God uh, came down to the earth and they had sexual intercourse with human beings and they gave birth to Nephilim, to giants. They, demons can materialize themselves. Some level of demons can become human beings, put on human flesh, just the way angels can also do. And I saw the Lord revealed to me and I saw people selling, famous women selling by the roadside, selling eatables. And the Lord was speaking loudly to my hearing that 
we should talk to our children so that they don't buy things anyhow that some of the people who sell eatables by the roadside especially some of these things that children like like biscuits some of these fried things they are also partaking in this kind of marketing so that they can possess those people i remember some years ago precisely uh, it was 2006 a lady i conducted deliverance for she was having a spiritual husband and a spiritual mother she was a banjo. she was into witchcraft coven so she told me that a spiritual mother who reside in a water world used to go to one of the markets even in worry here to sell different kind of things sometimes they sell uh, granites in the market and also that uh, they sometimes she could sell comb children's comb comb listen you may not believe what i'm telling you now but i want to let you know that this world is the same place that satan and his angels are living the bible says in revelation chapter 12 revelation chapter 12 verse 12 that let me read it out to you revelation 12 12 therefore rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time satan has come down to us he is filled with anger because he knows that his time is short but people majority of humans living in this world do not even have any idea that there are demons there are powers to darkness even some of these things that you call alien ufo they are demons in disguise there are human beings if I, the lord told me that there are people who are into the pornography industry who are not human beings god explained to me how they possess human beings when you go to the internet to watch pornography or you buy any any of their production you get possessed because sex is spiritual so if I, you have any sexual uh, feelings towards there are spiritual level of spiritual attack attraction and interaction but the most painful aspect of this revelation is that the lord also showed me the church and the lord showed me the state of the church and a lot of ministers and the lord told me there are also demonic agents who are into ministry today and that they have entered agreement with the devil some of them are not even human beings who are born by men and women some are directly from the kingdom of darkness they have no earthly parents there are pastors like that right now but majority of those because of suspicion majority of those who the devil is using today they were born by human beings but on special assignments for the devil and the Lord told me that many of these people we see around, a lot of them performing miracles and doing great signs and wonders, they are from Satan, the devil himself. And the Lord showed to me that their work is to keep the people warm. They are neither hot nor cold. They keep them warm. And remember what the Bible says, Jesus said, because you are lukewarm, because you are not hot, not cold, I would spit you out of my mouth. Like the Laodicean church, they said they are rich. They said they see, but they never knew that they are blind. They are wretched and poor. And also they make those people comfortable in the church. Whenever there is any demonic manifestation or satanic manifestation they 
will build the people to comfort these people and tell them it doesn't mean anything. Don't worry, it doesn't mean anything. Don't worry, just believe God. Keep confessing your faith. The Lord is here. Don't you see the miracles the Lord is doing in this church? And a lot of people have become deceived. Remember what the Bible says, that even if it were possible, even the very elect will be deceived. A lot of people have been deceived today. It takes me a lot of courage to come out here to tell you these things. And also, that these pastors, they have entered agreement with the devil to win as many souls as possible for him under the cover of deception. There are lots of wolves in sheep clothing today. Remember the Matthew chapter 23 we read. The Bible says that those people, they cross seas. They cross lands in order to make one convert. And when they go and the convert, when they succeed in getting the convert, they make the convert twice a shite of hell than they themselves. I hear a lot of ministers say, ministers say, once you have confessed Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and you, they declare you born again, you no longer need deliverance. Now there were lots of witches and wizards in their congregations that they don't even care to deliver these people from demonic powers because that is what they are out for. They are out for these people. They want their souls. They need as many as they can. Look at their congregations. No, even if you look, you may not see those people because you too, you are blind. A lot of Christians are blind. But by the grace of God, for those of you, the Lord has given the spirit of this, this, the discernment and the spirit of vision, revelations. Look into these congregations. You will see a lot of demonic influences in this congregation. A lady reached me, a, a, a lady reached me from France. She manages to even speak English. And she told me that the Lord gave us a message for me. In fact, she had a dream and she said she was delivering a message to me and I was seeing some kind of things in the dream and I started weeping and I was crying because uh, the spirit of mommy water, that is exactly what she said. I, she recorded the message. I'm going to post it on Ego Eye Opener. If you go to YouTube, Ego Eye Opener, a few days from now, you will see the message there. She said, I was crying because there were lots of mommy water spirits in churches in Nigeria. I know, I know what I'm talking about. There are hundreds of pastors and prophets and bishops and archbishops who are possessed. And they are deceiving those people. If you are a man of God and you come across this message, I beg you to repent. A lot of you are going to stand before Jesus on the last day and you will become speechless. You will urinate. Your legs won't be able to, your feet won't be able to hold you. Because you don't know what you are playing with. You are playing with fire and the Bible says, can a man put fire in his bosom and not be burned? You are playing with fire. God is a consuming fire. Because they give you private jets, because, because they give you money, because they call you Papa, because they call you Geo, you want to play with the source of men. Do you know how much a soul, a single soul, costs to God? Remember that a soul came from God. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, that God breathed into the nursery of man and man became a living soul. That part that came from God is what you are playing with. Man was a lifeless being, but until God breathed into the nursery of man, man never received life. The life that man carries, the soul came from God, and that soul can never, never die because it came, is a part of the immortal and everlasting God. Man has a beginning, but he has no end. So whether we leave this world or we remain till Jesus comes back, we will not die. 
The soul does not die. The soul is a real human being. And that is what you are playing with. There are lots of you with demonic powers who are deceiving the church of Christ and judgment is going to begin with you. I don't care any title you carry. I don't care whosoever you are. Some of you kill to get powers. Some of you go to the married kingdom to get power. But I tell you, this is your judgment. Because you have killed. You climb the pulpit and you tell people that shall not kill. But in the secret you kill. Even those who come to correct you and those who pass messages of money to you, you kill them. This is your judgment. And you will not escape. You shall die one day. You will definitely die one day. And by the time you die, you will stand before God and you will be powerless. Today you have your personal will. You can choose to do any form of evil that you want to do. But the time is coming when you die. You will have no control over the soul. I know what I'm talking about. If you are a Christian, wherever you are in the world, all over the world, value your soul. The mark of the beast... As arrived, it's been implemented in India right now. And I was listening to uh, one of the watchmen on YouTube, and he was saying that a lot of Christians had to leave the church because the church is not even backing them. Only a few pastors are standing for those people. In fact, the church is the people, the church, a lot of pastors are the people encouraging those people. Oh, it just get scanned. It doesn't mean anything. It, it's just for, uh, it, it, it's a normal thing. Just get it. It doesn't mean anything. And that is what is happening today in the church. If you are a pastor, if you call yourself a man of God and you are out to deceive those people, you are going to pay. And you yourself who allow yourself to be deceived, you are going to lament and regret in hell. Let me tell you something. Many of you, majority of you that have been deceived are going to team up and beat up your pastors very well in hell. But it will be too late. It will be too late in the fire. You are going to beat up your pastors because he refuses to tell you the truth. But let me tell you, he is on a mission for the devil. He has enjoyed his heaven in this world. Look at the kind of flamboyant lifestyle, the, the kind of luxurious lifestyle men of God are living in this world. So luxurious and people are dying of hunger. Some of them have different the number of private chests and they don't care about their members. People are dying. The poor are perishing. The gospel is, has not has it gotten to the people it should get to. They only preach in the city. This is your heaven. This is your heaven. Some of you in church are languishing. Poverty is destroying you. Sickness destroying you. But the different kind of oppression. This world is like hell to you. And you are leaving this hell in quotes to go to another hellfire. I pity you. Share this message if you like the truth. It is time to stand to preach the truth and to cause the gospel of Jesus Christ to go across the world. Enough of this sugar-coated prosperity messages that are doing so much harm to the body of Christ. If you love the truth, share this message. Don't be afraid of anything. We live under God. Even if they kill the body, they can't kill the soul. We have a home in heaven. We have a place we are going to, and it's going to be blissful there. We have a place. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. But I tell you, and the time is now, the judgment will begin in the household of God. It will begin very, very soon. The signs are getting complete. Satan is ready. The Lord told me, I've done a video that God told me that Satan is ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. Everything has to be put in place. The Antichrist, everything is ready. Are you ready for the coming of Jesus Christ? Better get ready now. Don't let sin take you away. It is a matter of the soul. This is the most important issue on earth. The matter of your salvation. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hosanna E. David and Ego I Opener. Or visit my website, egoiopener.com and biblicosexualpurity.com. Thank you. God bless you. Remain pure. 
even as we wait for the appearing of the Lord. God bless you.